So Reunion Tower was built by a local family in Dallas. They chose to build the hotel and the tower back in the late 70s and decided to create an iconic structure for the city of Dallas. Over 560 feet tall, it's got 259 LED fixtures on the exterior that light up the city of Dallas and portray messages from the surrounding community. It's got an observation deck where people come up and enjoy the, the panoramic view of the city and the surrounding communities. We needed to have the existing infrastructure upgraded to accommodate some new power supplies for the existing LED lighting. Challenges of accomplishing getting the, the wiring upgraded and the power supplies upgraded was finding a company that had electricians that were comfortable and certified to repel over the edge. We're 550 some odd feet in the air and that takes a special crew to be able to do that. How we found FSG is through our partnership with Weedemark and Icon HD. We brought FSG on board to help us out with basically replacing all of the existing power infrastructure and the data infrastructure as well as updating the existing power supplies and data cards. FSG's role was to assist Reunion Tower and Icon in rewiring the structure for the LED lighting. Just doing an upgrade and, and getting things to a better situation as far as controls and the circuits that are feeding the lighting. It's preventative maintenance on electrical work is, is necessary after so long. Stuff deteriorates over time and stuff like that, so you want to make sure that you keep things you know, updated so there are no failures. One of the challenges here was finding a team that could keep the ball lit every night for the city of Dallas while upgrading the wiring and the DMX decoders. So it was extremely important. It was one of our main qualifiers for anybody that was going to do the work for us. With what we're doing, we have to go back and make sure all the fixtures are back on. And if they're not, we got to do the troubleshooting and stuff, whatever it takes to get it back working to 100%. Because I mean, this is, a big, this is a big deal in Dallas and nobody really wants to see this ball half lit. There was no pre-existing drawings. And so we knew it was going to be a challenge. So we couldn't provide them with, this is how you're going to do it and this is the way it's gonna go. It was, how are we gonna solve this problem? And FSG came up with a plan to solve that problem. It all changed once we opened up the fixtures and started seeing the route of all the wires. The power was ran first here, so that's running one way, and then the data was run second, so they didn't really plan for it to be all changed out at one time. That's been a little bit challenging, just having to do everything together and just trying to keep it to where we're trying to keep the ball lit. I'd say on the safety aspect, it was more of proving that we can do this safely, proving to our safety team and to ourselves that we, we were all comfortable with this project because it's very, very different than anything else we've ever done. We're very happy with the project, the way it's going. Even with all the challenges, the weather delays, we're still very happy. Uh, we're very happy with the crew that's on site. They're very safe. They're double checking everything. They're 100% compliant in their safety plan. So that's what we're really thrilled about so that we don't have any accidents of any kind. Small, large, medium, that's our main concern first. And then after that, it's upgrading the wirings and the controllers and then the completion of the project. Thank you.